So guys, Maritime Spook here, and uh, I'm gonna go and show you a little kit here, guys, that uh, I put a lot of thought into, and it's just something that now I'm, I'm pretty much gonna put in any pack I have, uh, uh, be it my uh, recce pack that I carry, or you know my SOG pack, or even just you know sling this over my shoulder on the on the dry bag that uh, I also put this into with some other gear. So. Uh, I'm gonna show what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll open it up and I'll show you uh, the outside of it and then we'll pause it here and then we'll go back and I'll show you uh, some of the other stuff but first off inside the bag itself um, I put this uh, more robust excellent excellent knife guys I've got a few videos of me baton and hard use in this knife and it's an excellent knife um, uh, it's razor sharp. It's easy to maintain. So this went in the kit in the bag as well This Bic lighter normally goes inside the uh, you know into the waterproof uh, container But I uh, just happened to have it out because I was using it to melt some stuff Roll of Gorilla tape stuff first aid repair uh you know, just there, everything you can think of, and this stuff lasts for years. It, I mean, I have stuff that I've wrapped it around that's still, like, years later, still, like, secure. So, very good Gorilla Tape. It's the only kind that I ever get. Roll of uh, paracord, and I think for our emergency uh, situation here, guys, uh, there's about, I think, I don't know, 60 feet or something like that. Just taking a guess, but I believe it is. Uh, for emergency or uh, survival pre uh, preparedness, I guess. I like stuff that's shiny and, uh, you know, bright, bright colors. So I went with this sort of lime green and yellow and just uh, something that really sticks out. You know, and that actually kind of matches the bag that I'll show you in a minute, the dry bag that uh, I'll put this in with some other gear. So I think that's all the stuff that was actually just in the bag itself. So... What I've got this in too, by the way, guys, the bag that this is in is actually what you call, uh, it's a steak bag, a uh, Canadian military issue uh, steak bag for their big tent steaks. And uh, it's just a really good sort of water resistant, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to treat it again, but water resistant, uh, you know, bag with a drawstring. And I put a grenade uh, lanyard on it right there as well. I got them from my buddy Chris Collier. So that's really cool. And that's a rope stop that, uh, you know, this cinches the bag up when you need to cinch it. So I'll open up the bag and we'll show you what's in it. Or show you the container. And it does take a second to get out for two reasons, guys. For one, it's just new and I just started putting it in this. And uh, another thing, too, is... Uh, just the way that uh, I've got it set up. I have a carabiner on it and a whistle, but that's the way I like it. So this is the top of the container, and on the end, well, as we'll get to this first. Um, this container comes with this container, uh, this Fox 40 waterproof, completely waterproof uh, flashlight. It's not LED, but it's really bright, and uh, I'll show you why there's another function of this. It's really cool, so that's completely waterproof. And uh, Fox 40 whistle, that's super uh, popular one of the loudest peeless whistles are on the planet or probably is the you know this is the one they use in the nhl the nba everything these guys uh, are used not this particular one this is their like boating a marine one but uh very very good whistles fox 40. so here's the top lid guys and i'm gonna i'll pull it out so it's out of the bag so that was the stuff that just goes inside the stuff that i showed you that i pulled out was just stuff that i put around the bag and then sealed it up so there's stuff the contents i'll show you are actually stay in here and uh keep them super waterproof here's the front of it and if you want to get one of these kits guys i may do a giveaway and put some of these in it but uh these are only here in canada this was uh 12.99 for the kit and the kit came with uh the uh, container um the flashlight the whistle and uh, inside here, one of the items that I kept in that I'm going to probably just keep putting in the, I'm going to put in the bag just to free up more waterproof space. Um, 50 feet of nylon rope with a buoy that you can actually use to throw out to save somebody. And that's why I wanted to make a kit like this is I'm always traversing up and down the coastline, guys. Um, thank goodness I've never come across anybody that needed help. But if they ever did, I wasn't really, in my opinion, prepared enough to help them. So I sort of made myself prepared enough, I would say. So anyway, this on screws like this, guys, and to just a note of the cover, get this off. 
the cover on the inside and that's why I was saying that there's a reason for this light being the way it is and this does come off it's got a carabiner and this has a little round thing right here to uh, attach a carabiner to um, this is reflective on the inside so you can use your light you don't really see it now because it's daytime but this actually reflects really bright so you can signal with this thing going back and forth to let somebody know you need assistance so there's the cover to that guys with the uh, stuff attached waterproof uh, Fox 40 flashlight and the, the uh, P-less uh, Fox 40 whistle so here's the inside contents guys you can see I've got it jammed in there pretty good but uh, we're gonna go through the contents here and uh, you know one at a time and I'll kind of show you what's we're not one at a time two at a time I guess um, I grabbed a couple cliff bars um, these are good for this kit because you can squish them and they the form they stay they'll stay in there it doesn't matter what form they're in so I'm trying to say you can squish them in there and they're not going to break the package is actually really robust because it hasn't broken for me jamming it in here and uh, taking it out but uh, two cliff bars uh, these are the uh, crunchy peanut butter and one of these guys is basically to me about half of a meal so if you have this and say a cup of coffee and you know something else you're pretty well good or if you just need to keep moving this is something you can just eat on the go and uh, i put two of them in here um you know for two meals for myself or a meal for uh you know or pick me up for uh, me and somebody else so there's two cliff bars i have uh a handful of water purification tablets and which if you put them in here and shook it up you could actually get uh uh, two of these I believe would do this whole container. So I mean I've got enough to do fill this three or four times with water So that's water purification tablets Just then a little uh, Thing for earplugs and I put the iodine uh, thing in there to keep them preserved Burt's beeswax everything in here. I tried to make a little bit multifunctional um, Burt's beeswax uh, you can use this for fire uh, putting it on your tinder to make it uh, you know last longer you know for your lips obviously you can even go as far as use this for a sunscreen around your nose and face and this is medicated and i just put a bunch of gorilla tape around it to uh, have easy tape accessible i have a roll of this uh medical stripping you can cut off strips of your own band-aid or if you had a large cut you could use it for this but uh, to be totally honest with you guys, the Gorilla Tape and uh, usually a bandana that I have in my pocket would be about what I would use for medical anyway. So um, although I have a decent medical kit in my backpack and my other uh, EDC bag, you know, I, I didn't make this more medical because I usually have that stuff on me anyway. But uh, this is just an idea. You could add a ton of medical stuff if you'd like. And this is a rope I'm going to show you. And the other contents are uh, pretty easy to show you. But how I did this with the rope, guys. This came with the kit. This is 50 feet of nylon rope. And it has this uh, plastic uh, sort of buoy or composite buoy. And you can actually throw this out. And uh, the, this will float. And they can get people can get a hold of the rope or yourself. And plus, you've got all this cordage. And this came in it. And what I did just to save on space, guys, is I actually took my fire kit and I shoved it in the circle, circular part of the rope, how it's wound up. So that way it wasn't be, it'd be sticking in just the profile of this going down. So I got a fire kit, I pull that out and I'm not gonna take this all apart, but I've got some tinder, or, uh, cotton balls and Vaseline. I've got a uh, small ferrocerium rod in there. I've got some Yuko matches, uh, some other storm kind of matches and uh, tinder quicks and uh, Let's see what else. And I got a couple other things. That's a fire kit. Oh, and there's also two uh, on the back part here with the Gorilla Tape. I've got two uh, large sail needles that are uh, taped to the back of it. And there's a Ranger band keeping it secure. So that's a little fire kit. On the inside of the other loop, I took a CRKT Eaton tool with a little bit of paracord on that. And I mean, you can use this to pry. Obviously, you can use it to eat. It's got a few tools on it, like oxygen tank. And if you're on the bay and, you know, there was some kind of uh, diver that needed help or something, you could actually use this to undo the oxygen tank with uh, on their person. So that's just a little tool that I stuck in there and the 50 feet of uh, rope with the buoy. Now, like I said, this is going to end up probably coming out, guys. And, uh, you know, this will add more room to this container. And this will just go inside the uh, green bag here. So I'll probably do that. But, you know, for just for now, I stuck it in there. This is its own inclusive little shelter kit right here, guys. I've got two tea, tea lamps. And this is basically uh, my buddy Taro. Taro Movies, check him out, guys. Awesome guy from Switzerland, survival instructor. Um, he showed his ultimate uh, winter uh, survival 
kit, shelter kit, and it was a mylar blanket and a couple candles. And uh, what I did here is put in a survival resources poncho. So basically you've got the, the candles to keep, you can wrap yourself in this and then make yourself a little shelter with a poncho and then use the candle as you're wrapped in as a scout uh, fire. Black Scout Survival did one like that too. And then you can keep yourself heated from the reflection with just this candle. So that's a little kit right there for a shelter inside this. And everybody knows me and they know I like these. And I put uh, a couple glow sticks in there as well. Now, this is something else that I had in there that I'm going to put in because I took the rope. This is a fishing kit. I'm not going to take it all apart, but I stuck some of the line out to show you. I've got 20 pound line in here. I've got some hooks in here. I've got some split shot uh, sinkers in here, uh, a lure, and uh, a couple other little implements there for fishing. And uh, this actually can be used. You can wrap it through that hole right there and use that almost like your pole to jig with it. And I've tried it before and it actually works really well. So that's a little fishing kit. And another thing inside the bag that I kind of forgot was uh, some snare wire. And this is used for a million things to fix things. And you got to think, think guys, this is a nautical uh, kit. So there might be something on your boat or, you know, someone else's boat that you come across that may need to be fixed. And this stuff can be used to fix it. So anyway, guys, there's the container as well. You've got a large container there to be able to put your water in, store other things in. So, uh... Anyway guys, I wanted to share this with you and we'll do a couple other videos on it, but this slides right in my pack and uh, it's just a really, really good good kit. So I will uh, take a second here and lay the stuff out and uh, let you see what it uh, looks like. Okay guys, so here's the kit right here laid out for you and I uh, just want to share that with you guys and uh, this is a really cool kit. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I mean, this is you're only limited to your imagination of what you can put in this kit. And here I've got some liquor and there's other things you could put in. But this is kind of just my little quick kit to, uh, you know, get yourself a little bit of a jump start on survival. Anyway, guys, Maritime Spook signing out. And uh, keep a stick on the ice. And thanks for watching.